opening the store yesterday morning, about five minutes after we opened, my colleague handed me the shop phone, which had just rung and said, it's for you. So when I answered the phone, the first thing I hear is, good morning, Ash. This is Sam Neal from Two Paddocks Wines. And my very first thought was Sam Neal would not be calling me at the shop. My second thought was, my God, this man sounds like Steve Davis. And it doesn't even sound like he's trying to hide it. So I spent the next 10 minutes on the phone convinced it was either yourself or someone that sounds a lot like you playing a practical joke. But the whole time I was just torn between do I commit to answers and play into the joke or do I stay vague? So I stay fake. So to play it safe, I sent a text message to my lovely wine rep from Negotiants who handled Sam's brand two paddies. So I just had the most random phone call, someone pretending to be Sam Neal. And the response pretty much verbatim was, that was Sam, he called and asked for your phone number. (laughs) <laughs> it is an industry that really it has its ups and downs anyway without the COVID. Um, so we are a very, and we're reflecting on it with a lot of the buyers, we're actually a really resilient industry. Farmers have seasons where they don't have crop and they have to learn to survive with what they've got and make do and what do you do? Um, but you have a business that still needs to run. You still have expenses and things like that, which would be what a lot of, businesses are experiencing now but so they're sort of you know they are sort of um i suppose hurdles and challenges that as an industry we've been dealing with all along the reality is i think our neoliberal government has responded to this situation better than i could have hoped Mm -hmm. what really concerns me is when our prime minister makes the comment that he can't imagine what the world will be like after this crisis Now, this is traditionally the problem of conservatives. Is conservatives' best day is always behind them. So what they're pitching to us is a halcyon day, a golden era. They're always looking backward to what was perfect. Neoliberals, in a sense, are worse because they're trying to pitch at us a halcyon day with a budget surplus. In human history, the rarest and weirdest day, so trying to get back to it is ludicrous. So we're at a point now where traditional economic models need to be questioned. And I think a lot of governments who've done reasonable at dealing with the crisis are not necessarily up to dealing with the new world, the other side of the crisis. When we released our first single, uh, a friend of mine gave Peter a, um, a copy of the CD and he wrote me a letter. Me a letter here. I've got the letter right here. <laughs> was um, that Jerry X? Did it just say there on Jerry the Jerry X at Limbo Haircutters, which is a, a shop that I used to work in back in the no- early 90s. Wow. I've and, never. Uh, could I just say, Peter Gers, great idea, because why not? You just address something, Steve X. Doesn't really make much difference, does it? Yeah, like, it's handwritten in texter. In, pur- in purple texter, and he's got the month in Roman numerals, but the rest of the uh, rest of it's Arabic. Speaking of Arabic, I can't understand. I can't read his writing. <laughs> I, uh, I do know that it says, "Dear Jerry, hearty congratulations to you and yours on the success of the Devil's Cabaret CD." And I can't really work out the rest of it. That lady, that lady.